Carson, and I'm going to be talking about Katherine Johnson. Katherine Johnson is an American mathematician whose calculations of orbital mechanics as a NASA employee were critical to the success of the first and subsequent U.S. crewed space flights. Her skills helped not only put an astronaut into orbit around the Earth, but also helped put a man on the moon. Johnson's math mathematical skills were made known when she was just a child. She loved math. When Katherine Johnson was 10, she attended high school, and by the time she was 18, she graduated summa cum laude, which means highest honors, from West Virginia State College with a degree in mathematics and French. After college, Katherine began to teach, but only taught until she got married and had children. In 1953, when Catherine was 34, she heard that NECA, later known as NASA, was hiring African-American women to solve math problems. She was hired. These positions were called West Computers. During this time, NASA was still segregated. What made Catherine a standout was that she was passionate about what she did and asked a lot of questions. She saw herself go into meetings where at the time only men attended. She was promoted to a team member and worked on different space projects for NASA. She figured out the paths for the spacecraft to orbit Earth and to land on the moon. Katherine Johnson worked for NASA for over 35 years before retiring. Katherine Johnson died on February 20th, 2020 at the age of 101. Some fun facts about her, she was the inspiration behind the movie Hidden Figures that Disney created and some achievements. She's won many awards, but in 2015, Captain Johnson received the Presidential Medal of Freedom from President Barack Obama. And why did I choose her? I chose Katherine Johnson because I believe it's not just important to highlight and recognize women in the field of science and engineering, but to recognize African-American women in this field. Katherine Johnson was the mind behind many important space flights. What kind of work did they have you doing? When you first went to the went to NASA, it was a it was mathematics, but it was uh, the same thing all the time. All uh, engineers would come up with a set of equations, and you had to run them through what you call a time history. Uh, uh, maybe it was something, some data they wanted to follow for X number of days. So you had big data sheets that big with maybe 15 or 20 columns across and 25 lines down this way. And you set your variable as down this way and solve those all the way across for days. Well, it was fascinating to me. For one thing, working in I skipped working in Mr. Evans' office after school. He had a calculator, one of these big desk calculators. So I knew how to do it. So when I went to this job, I had a, I was already one step up. I knew how to do use the equipment. So I got along fine.